lovelies we are on one of our long long walks this one is probably three miles it's frosty I don't know if you can see the frost on there it's frosty but sunny really fresh it's really lovely day I'm wearing a hat everything I'm wearing is old maybe I get Paul to do um, outfit of the, of the day I usually wear hats with a wig underneath because look this thin hair looks like feathers but <laughs> I've washed my hair this morning so I didn't want to put a wig on and also makes my head much warmer when I've got a wig on so I'm gonna catch up with Paul and get him to do outfit of the day oh while we're here oh it's a bit muddy this I know I've shown it to you before this is like the best thing in the world these are hand warmers they are USB rechargeable and I have two of them one in each pocket because I have quite bad circulation so like my feet doesn't matter I could wear sheepskin boots and my toes are still freezing and the same with my hands I can wear any gloves you give me and my hands will be freezing but this I just have my hands in the pocket with these and they are so good these are great Christmas presents I even sometimes sit at home holding that because even with the heating on sometimes my hands are really cold right I get potted to outfit of the day okay so none of it is new I think I've bought this uh, Burberry coat last year I I don't know if they will still have it this year I will look if they do I will leave it my all-time favorite Holland Cooper wellies with Sherpa lining but I still have um, really thick socks on because I told you my feet get really cold uh, old scarf and the hat I don't know where I bought it it's quite old as well <laughs> and my glasses are from uh, Mark Jacobs again very old so I'm sure you won't have it and two of these <laughs> and here is Louis what do you want and you don't have any boots no jacket no hand warmers I don't know come on then let's go go come on no I don't have anything no it's all gone it's all gone it's all gone, it's all gone. like the snow good morning my lovelies isn't it gorgeous we've got snow I love it so much you can probably see it behind me 
it's just so wonderful, especially this time of year. You know, growing up in Poland, when I was a kid, we had snow up to my waist. Uh, it used to be minus 20, you know, I'm talking like 40 years ago. And there is no really big winters like this anymore in Poland, in certain parts, yes. But that used to be just standard. We never ever wondered if we are going to have snow for Christmas when I was a kid. It was just a given. Um, and it was wonderful. To me, Christmas means snow. So I hope this stays till, till Christmas because it just feels more Christmassy. Um, if it's raining and quite mild, it just could be any time of the year. And I love this display so much. You know, if you've been with me for a while, I've had, I do it every year and I just love it. I look at it every day and I think I want to live there. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Really, if I had my way, I would live somewhere in the middle of the woods in a lovely cabin. It would have to be a bit luxurious <laughs> and have all the motcons. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's my ideal, living in the middle of the woods. I've always felt like that. And that or on the water, maybe in the middle of the woods by the lake. That would be my ideal. Birds are fighting. Po is absolutely obsessed with feeding birds. I don't know if you can hear them. Uh, we have a bird feeder and we also throw it on that roof over there, especially now in the snow. Um, he just goes and buys them all the delicacies that birds could want. But they, they do fight a lot. <laughs> I'm having my hair done this week, but you know, when I'm looking, I've washed my hair so it's nice and clean. And when my hair is nice and clean, it doesn't look that bad, the roots, because I've got so much gray now um, here at the front and top. But let me show you, if I can show you the back. Can you see how big they are at the back? Also because I only had uh, half a head done last time, so right at the back, my roots are like four months old. Right, so what I'm doing today is wrapping up presents. Well, wrapping up. You might be surprised, but I'm not into wrapping up presents. I like pretty things and I've done it one year. I did beautiful paper and beautiful ribbons. But I feel once that paper, that really shiny foil paper, you can't recycle it. I think we have to put it in like a special bag and the bin men take it wherever. Um, two, you know, you spend all that time, put those lovely ribbons, people rip it up into seconds and just chuck it in the bin. So to me, it's like a bit wasteful. So what I like to do, I like using gift bags. One, because you can reuse them. If I get a present in a gift bag, I keep that gift bag and I repurpose it. I give it to someone else. I take the tag off, I I buy, where are they? You can buy, you know, like just tags on their own and you can repurpose it in the same. If I give someone a bag, they can repurpose it. So this year I bought this big bundle of like brown paper bags and they have obviously Christmassy things on it. Mind you, they have a bit of foiling on it. I don't know if that means that they can be recycled. I hope they can. And you get here one, two, three, four, four or five different sizes. And then I got also Christmas tissue paper. This one has snowflakes on it. It comes also with these little sticky circly things. So I just wrap the present in a tissue paper and put it in a bag, add my own tag and it's easy, it's quick. And like I said, you can recycle the bags or repurpose them. I do love the look of beautifully wrapped up presents, but like I said, it lasts what, three seconds. 
So yes, I have all the presents now. I think I have a couple maybe to get, but they're just like gift vouchers. So I'm going to be doing that today. I might put some Christmas music on while I'm doing it. Time just goes so quick. I remember last Christmas, like it was two weeks ago, we went to the restaurant, didn't we, last year, and it wasn't very nice. And this year, I'm not doing turkey. So, I know in the US you have turkey for Thanksgiving. What do you have for Christmas? Do you celebrate? Is Christmas as big as your Thanksgiving? I am not really sure. And do you have turkey again at Christmas or do you have ham? What do you do? Let me know because I don't really know what you do at Christmas. I know that Thanksgiving is like a big deal. Does that mean that Christmas isn't a big deal? Let me know if you're from the US or any country. In a lot of uh, European countries, like in Poland, our biggest, most important day is Christmas Eve. And it's just beautiful. I suppose because we are Catholic country, and there is a lot of um, traditions into it and, and the religion included in it. So I don't know, it feels just nicer. I feel like here, it always been really like here. I'm not saying everybody does it because I'm sure there's a lot of um, Catholics and religious people in here as well in, in the UK. But here seemed to be more commercial thing, you know, just the, opportunity to see your family, stuff yourself silly and buy presents. There is no any tradition to it really. And um, yeah, I loved it in Poland. Um, so we do it in the evening, it's more like a supper. And we usually have 12 dishes, which are meat free. It's uh, the, the Christmas Eve supposed to be like fasting and um, time of reflection, you're supposed to just have one fulfilling meal in a day and meat free and that happens in the evening, like your supper. So um, we used to always have like 12 meat free dishes, so it wasn't like a dinner, you know, like three course meal, loads of dishes, so it would be 12 to represent the 12 apostles. Uh, another tradition we used to always leave extra table setting for a guest um, and that would represent when Mary and Joseph couldn't find the room in the inn so if someone just knocked on your door and had nowhere to go at Christmas you would invite them in. Um, a bit dangerous though isn't it? <laughs> but uh, yeah it, it was just symbolic so Yes, it, it was just so lovely and we would sing carols um, and that's when we also opened the presents. So as kids we were told, um, you know, you always would be ushered somewhere to another room because Santa was coming because you were not allowed to see Santa. If you did, the presents would disappear. Uh, so my parents would put the presents under the tree and we were not allowed to touch them because if you touch them, they will disappear. <laughs> that was probably just my parents being really mean <laughs> and torturing us, looking at presents, but not being able to touch them. Uh, you could only open them after you saw the first star in the sky, which would represent the Bethlehem star that took the three kings to Jesus. So yeah, it, it, was, it was lovely. And you know, you didn't just do it when you had small kids, just do it all the time. I don't know what it is like now because obviously I haven't lived in Poland for over 30 years, so I have no clue. But that's what I remember from my childhood and teenage years. Oh yes, and then at midnight, we would all go to mass. For us kids, that was very exciting that we could be up so late and um, in Poland, almost every housing estate like area have their own church. So you would walk. I, I think our walk to the church was probably 15, 20 minutes. And you would walk at night in the snow. It was just magical. 
So yes, I have beautiful memories from my childhood at Christmas. Here, I just feel like it's another Sunday roast, you know? <laughs> yes, so I reminisce about that every Christmas. I enjoy the decorating for Christmas, obviously. I love doing that. And this, it's not like I'm blowing my own horn, but I just genuinely love this. This is my favorite. If I get my Christmas trees, to me, this is like everything about Christmas. And I love this so much. Like I said, I could live in there if I could shrink myself. I think this is why I've never got gotten rid of that um, sideboard. I don't like it. It's so, so old. You can't even imagine how old it is. Um, but I keep it there because <laughs> I can dress it up for Christmas. Mind you, what I could do if I got rid of this one, the mirrored one that I have in my living room, you know, I put it on a different wall, but I could, I suppose, bring it here. So maybe I should do that. But now I've got lots of stuff in there, you know. What is it? We we just we are never ever happy with what we've got. We want more and more. Have you noticed that the more storage you create in your house, you will always fill it up. There is no cupboard drawer in my house that is not full, and I have loads of storage. You know, I have the whole wall of wardrobes in my hallway, and it's just full to the brim with stuff and we had that done years ago we didn't have these wardrobes before so i'm thinking where did that stuff go i obviously didn't have that stuff so that's the thing if you the more storage you create the more stuff you have and i'm trying to like buy less i still enjoy it don't get me wrong i will never be minimalist but like, I don't get that excited about buying new makeup anymore. You might have noticed, I used to buy every new thing that came out. Every new palette, every new mascara, every new foundation. I still love foundations because to me that's like the most important part of my makeup. So, and if you really look back at my videos this year, I've hardly bought anything. I do get Sigma stuff sent, which I'm grateful for. I really love the Sigma eyeshadows. But myself, I, I bought the new Natasha Denona palette. Maybe I bought two of them. I can't remember now if the Glam one came out this year. And then I bought the latest one, the her favorite palette. Like today, I mean, this is my uniform makeup, just one eyeshadow. Or I use warm brown or that sort of mauve one. This one is, I actually found today, pulled out my old Dose of Colors um, Marvelous Mauves palette and I use the third mauve one all over my lid. That's what I do most days. Yes, yeah, some days I really fancy, I sit down and I really enjoy applying eyeshadows. But most days, especially if I'm not going anywhere, no point. I always put makeup on, but I do something quick like this. So I have enough makeup till I die, I think. And I don't know if it's my age. I'm getting much more, I don't know, comfortable, not wanting much. I was sitting the other night at home and I had this lovely warm feeling and I said to Paul, all I want to do is sit here in this house on my sofa, do my thing and I feel just safe, comfortable and content. I just feel like I don't want much in my life, I don't want to do much in my life. I've done so much traveling um, throughout my relationship with Paul I've been to so many places, did the crazy things before I had Max, going clubbing and doing all this stuff. And now I'm just happy to sit here and do nothing. 
just feel safe and warm and, and comfortable. So I don't know if it's, it's the age. Let me know if you feel like this or has something shifted in my consciousness. consciousness. But this is not very conducive to my YouTube channel because obviously this channel is all about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and to maintain that I should be buying things and showing you things and sharing things with you but if I don't buy stuff what do I talk to you about? Now I'm, I feel I only buy stuff that I think I will enjoy and I will use rather than buying anything that comes out just to share it with you. I almost felt like it was my responsibility to test things for you so you don't have to. But then YouTube got so saturated with channels like that, they would review every new thing. And a lot of times, for example, um, things come out much quicker in the US than here therefore by the time I bought it everybody already heard about it so it was pointless for me to to test it or talk about. This video is turning to Christmas reflection. <laughs> I suppose we all do that. It's end of the year and you wonder what what is the new year gonna bring as we've been living for three years in a state of crisis and emergencies uh, in a high stress constantly I just want some peace I just want everything to be okay and everybody to be happy but I feel that the world is not going in the right direction so I would like to go back to like 80s and 90s I think these were the best years and like I said before, I blame technology for all that. Like there is a lot of pros to technology, but I think there is more cons. But we can't stop that. It's just progress, isn't it? It's something that we can't stop. It's going to happen. It's just how the people in power use it. That's the most important thing that we don't lose in that time our rights and our freedoms that's the important thing technology is not bad is how people use it i suppose so yeah i i just worry about the young people you know what what is their life gonna look like because we have the hindsight of what our youth was like and i suppose you you can be saying that I know with Max when I tell him in my days he goes oh here we go in my days and I remember doing that to my mother when she would say in my days we didn't do this we did this and you just don't listen it's it's just different times anyway my lovelies this is this wasn't meant to be this like I said Christmas reflection video but I just went there Okay, I better go and get on with my Christmas present wrapping and I will see you another day. Good morning, my lovelies. It's quite early. I had to walk Louis this morning because Paul had to go for a blood test and it was like minus six this morning, so it's still freezing. I wanted to show you something because um, at the beginning of this vlog, I think I talked to you about um, how freezing my hands and feet get. So Paul, he's so thoughtful, found this for me from the heat company. And I don't want to open them because when you open them, they start releasing the heat. Uh, these are uh, insole foot warmers. I've got them in medium, which is um, 39 to 41 size. They are quite thin and you might think mm, they're not going to feel comfortable, but they are very comfortable. I don't know how you do it. Paul did it for me. And they last for eight hours. And after that, you have to throw them away. That's the only thing. But, so they are good for like long walks, obviously. But our longest walk probably takes a couple of hours. So it feels like a bit of a waste, but then you could wear them at home. 
Um, I don't know how you do it. Oh, there is something you have to peel off because Paul did it for me last time. Anyway, they are amazing. I could do it those years ago when Max used to play football and every weekend we would go to his football match, especially throughout the winter. Winter? Winter. And I remember standing there with my feet really frozen. This was heavenly. Uh, you have to wear socks, don't, don't wear it on bare feet. But this was so heavenly, I put it in my wellies, in the bottom of my wellies, and went for a walk. Amazing. So if you're suffering with really cold feet and you know you're going to be out for a few hours, these are amazing. I love this weather. I know people hate it, but I love it. It's sunny, crisp, beautiful. But I think it's getting warmer towards Christmas and probably will rain. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you this as we've been talking about being cold throughout this vlog. Um, oh, I've had my hair done, <laughs> I've had my roots done. So that's all done and I had a small trim. I didn't do anything because, you know, I've cut my fringe myself. This, you can't even call it a fringe. And it needs trimming a bit, but I think I might make a separate video because people have been asking me how I did it. You know, it's very easy. I'm not a hairdresser. I just make it up as I go along. So maybe I show you at some point. I won't touch it. Um, I might film it, how I trim my, my fringe. Um, I just like it because, you know, I have a big forehead. And also, it doesn't suit me to have all one length hair at the front, like straight hanging curtains, because one is very fine, and it just for the sh for my face shape, it doesn't suit me. So I have to have it slightly shaped um, around my face, and I feel that the fringe helps as well. I used to have a full fringe. In fact, if you've been with me from the beginning. I used to have proper fringe with my inverted bob. Today I'm wearing the Lily Silk Cashmere hoodie. I love this one, it's like my favorite. Love it so much, you've seen it. I think when I did the um, Black Friday deals in that video, I was showing you um, this hoodie. Love it so much. Um, and on my eyes, what I, Today I sat down in the morning and I wasn't going to do any makeup because I went with Louis first so all I did in the morning was my foundation because I cannot go out without that anywhere. I just did my foundation bronzer and um, blush and I went out like that with Louis and when I came back I thought oh I sit down and, and play with eyeshadows and I got all my um, shallow Tilbury quads and this is the Pillow Talk Dreams palette. And I love it. I forgot how lovely it is. To be honest, I love all the Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadows. I think the quality, working with them is amazing. I would probably even say that I prefer them to Natasha Denona. Although, you know, Natasha Denona's eyeshadows are lovely too, but Charlotte Tilbury, amazing so I really really love this look and on my lips I have BK Beauty Kindness lipstick and I think Sweet Pea and her Sweet Pea liner um, it's funny because someone in in my comments once and somewhere else I heard you know the older you get you should start wearing more of uh, bright lipstick, colour on your lips because the type that I like, you know, the really pale ones um, just don't suit all the women because wash, it washes you out. And yes, I would probably agree with that but I don't know what it is with me and lipsticks. I feel that if I have a darker lipstick that you can really see, I feel very overdone. And it's silly to say that because my eyes are always done up, but I never think my eyes are overdone. But then if my eyes are done up and I put bright lipstick on, I feel really overdone. 
so I don't know I find it I don't mind wearing darker brighter lipsticks when I'm going out somewhere but like for every day I don't know I don't feel right and it's probably something that you just have to get used to I like myself in bright red lipstick and also I feel I don't like like really dark lipsticks on my lips because I feel that they make me look angry and much older and then bright lipsticks like the shallow Tilbury's you know the poppy Coachella red or orange I can't remember now the names of it those ones I like wearing in the summer I think they look better in the summer with tan so Yes, I'm going to start, I know, I know this is not really dark, but I suppose it's more color than what I usually wear. So like this and the Dance Floor Princess are my color <laughs> lipsticks. Other than that, I use, you know, really pale ones with just like darker lip liner. I fill my lips in a bit and do it that way. And I still love that look, but I, I can see what people say that brighter lipstick sort of brightens up your your face so maybe i should try wearing a bit more color on my lips so today i'm just going to do my nails and my toenails i do my toenails even in winter i cannot bear toenails with nothing on them i don't know it just makes me cringe for some reason and I don't really get my feet out, but when I see them in the morning, <laughs> I still have to have something on them. And I haven't done my toes for such a long time. I just keep trimming them and the gel is growing out. Like on my little toenail, I just have like a line. So it looks even worse. So and I hate doing my toes because you know, you have to bend down and I can't see properly, even with the glasses. So it's a bit of a nightmare. But because toenails don't grow that fast, you don't have to do them like every two weeks. I probably in the summer do my toenails every two months, so I don't mind it. So I'm going to do that. My nails are absolutely ruined now. I haven't done them for ages. And this week is going to be very busy, so I probably won't see you this week anymore because it's the Christmas week. So I will have to, as you know, I'm hosting Christmas dinner, so there is loads to do. I have to do like last minute shopping for vegetables. I'm planning on to do white mushroom soup to start with, so I have to buy some fresh mushrooms. I've got the dried ones, but I need some fresh ones. And obviously you can't buy that too early because they will go off. So I have like last minute shopping to do and cleaning and then cooking and preparing everything so all that is left is for me to wish you happy peaceful christmas i hope you have a great time with your families and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous merry christmas